Old Chem, the most haunted building on the farm, built in 1516 on the grave of the Stanford Indian. In 1666, the entire Trost group died from lack of recognition there. The building is so haunted that first years haven't been allowed in. Until now. Dun dun dun! The chemistry department has hired us to investigate rumors of a haunting in the old chemistry building. We're going to be using hard and fast science to detect these supernatural entities and hopefully get to bring them to peace. Just like any other kind of science, we use numbers. Ours just happen to be imaginary. We're going to be spending the night in Old Chem, making measurements with these pieces of high-tech equipment. Right here, I think this is a little off, actually. Okay. Wish us luck, man. Godspeed. Godspeed. You guys want to go to the treehouse? Yeah. 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 Ready. Hey, you realize we can go through the gate, right? Ghosts give off electromagnetic fields from their vacuum fluctuations that can cool a room substantially. We'll use this high-tech thermometer to detect their presence. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey guys, I think I found a hot spot. Look at this. 56, 98.6, 56. Oh my god, that's so bizarre. We've never seen vacuum fluctuations heat up a room before. This has to be paranormal activity. We expect these ghosts to be hostile, so we need to be careful about what we say. Mon, show yourself, you pile of ectoplasmic goo. What, what the? What the? Wait, oh. Did you guys see that? Oh my god! Got him! I 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 got him! And then suddenly, this ghost just rushes down the hall and punches Luke in the stomach. Clearly, we're dealing with something more dangerous than we ever could have imagined. One of the surest ways to test for the presence of a paranormal being is the flashlight test. So you set the flashlight exactly between on and off. If the light turns on, then you can be sure that the ghost is responsible. So if there's anybody here, just turn the flashlight on. Just turn it a little. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to talk. Hey guys, what are you looking at? A flashlight? If anyone's here, just turn the flashlight on. We won't hurt you. Well, okay. It isn't broken, is it? Um, okay. We know you're here. But why do you haunt this place? Were you part of the trolls group that died of lack of recognition? If so, please turn off the light. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll be right back. The flashlight seems to be inactive now. Maybe the ghost left, but that was definitely a sign of paranormal activity. Ghosts have voices that are beyond the limits of human hearing. This is mostly because they're made out of nanoparticles and dark matter. So in order to hear them, you use this advanced device. Hey guys, I've been meaning to talk to you about your W4s. Yeah, it seems you all claim 17 allowances. You really shouldn't claim more than two. It's really dark in here. Whoa. Then all of a sudden, this glowing thing started moving up and down. We should get out of here. It's obviously not safe. We can analyze the data back at the... lab. Ugh, I'm tired. I think we're gonna take a nap.
Guys, we have to leave right now. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Oh, hey, Roger. There's a ghost around here, you know. You should be more careful. You guys realize that it was me the whole time, right? But why are you here? Where do you think I go when the main office is closed during lunch? Well, I guess that makes sense. So it was you laughing this whole time, right? I don't think so. I only laugh when something is funny or original. Then who? <laughs>